and welcome to Inside the Model Studio. I'm your host, James Lim. For nearly a decade, he's been the muse to Karl Lagerfeld. For Chanel, Fendi, and the designer's namesake line. Lagerfeld has also dedicated a photo exhibition and book in its entirety to him. He's also fronted for a wide array of clients, including Hermes, Gap, Roberto Cavalli, and H&M. Currently, he's ranked as the sixth top male model icon, according to Models.com. Those are just a few of the many reasons why Inside the Model Studio is proud to welcome Brad Kronig. Welcome, Brad. Thank you. Great to be here. I understand you were a successful soccer player in your youth, even landing a scholarship for university. When was the last time you kicked the old ball around? Um, I actually haven't played in a long time. But um, yeah, I started at Florida International in Miami. So then I had to pick my major and I didn't know what to do. So I actually you know, called my dad from, I went to South Beach and met with some agencies. And the first couple said no, actually. And then... Uh, but that's common, no? Yeah, yeah. And the third one said, you know, you can do this, but it's something on the side. You're not going to make a living. You can't make money. So don't drop out of school. So, of course, like I'm an all or nothing guy. So, of course, I drop out of school. Like, <laughs> the next day, call my dad. I said, Dad, you got to send me some money. I didn't even have an apartment. So he FedExed money on a corner, and I actually waited for the FedEx guy. The male models on the catwalks appear to be a bit thinner. Why do you think this is? It seems like the guys are younger now, so naturally the younger models are going to be, you know, thinner guys than, than guys who have been, you know, late 20s or even in their 30s. Um, it's just a style that changed on the, in the Milan and Paris, so it's bad for guys like me, <clears throat> but it's good for the new, up-and-coming, more edgy, trendier guys, so. You're best known for your work with Karl Lagerfeld. What do you remember about the first time meeting with the icon? The mo there's three models. It's a shoot for Be Man, and it was a jewelry story. Mm -hmm. And uh, Carl was shooting it in South of France at Biarritz. Right when we first started shooting, it was like an instant connection because there was two other male models. I think he shot maybe like one picture of them, and he shot probably like 20, 20 of me. So it was so all. I knew it was going well. And then three months later, he shot me for the Fendi. You know, without Carl, um, you know, I wouldn't have had the career that I've had. This might be a difficult question for you to answer, as you shot with Carl countless times. Select one shoot that you find to be especially memorable for you. It had to be the time we were shooting in Tokyo. It was just in the streets. It was like I've never seen this many people, like mobbed around Carl, and like it was in Shibuya. It was the streets were just packed. They actually straightened my hair and really? pulled my eyes back. Oh yeah, it was pretty. It was cool. <laughs> that was a good one. In your career, you've worked alongside Linda Evangelista, Helena Christensen, Claudia Schiffer. Basically, all the supermodels. Uh, is there a memory that sticks out for you from that time? Yeah, definitely Linda, Claudia, and Giselle. They're on a status of their own, you know? But probably my most memorable moment was shooting maybe, um, it was for Bazaar with Giselle in uh, the Hamptons. She's like the biggest supermodel of all time. So I was telling my buddies back home, I'm shooting with Giselle for two days here in, in uh, the Hamptons. So that was a good moment, you know? You are one of the very few working male model fathers in this business. Is it hard juggling fatherhood and being such a top model? It's definitely a lot of work doing both, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm either gone traveling mm -hmm. or I'm home a lot. So I actually spend more time than most of the dads who are working, you know, like a, an office job or something. We are now joined by your son, Hudson, who made his debut at age two for Chanel. And he recently walked once again alongside Heidi Mount. Hudson, I have a few questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah. You walked for Chanel two times. What do you remember about walking for the show? Walk. Crystals, I mean. Crystals. I mean, crystals? crystals from the last show. Then in my Fendi bag. You have a Fendi bag? Did Uncle Carl give you the, the bag? Yeah, but I don't know where it is now. You I'm don't know where it is now? There. You're talking about the Chanel bag in the show, I think, where you put the crystals in there. Remember where no one knew? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, and I left it. You left it there? Yep. All right, Brad, and now we move on to our special questionnaire session. What trend do you love? I guess classic in the end, because it's always in style. What trend do you hate? I guess it's super, super, super trendy, you know. Unless you're like the top people in the business are doing it, it looks really good. But if, if it's not, then it uh, goes pretty bad, you know. What is something you love to eat? Macarons and caviar, my favorite. What fashion industry profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Possibly photography, I guess. Since I've been, you know, on the other side of the camera for 12 years, I understand the light. A lot of times before the ph photographer says something to me, I'm already doing it because I can see what he's going to think. So kind of would know that better than anything, you know. What other fashion industry profession would you not like to attempt? To be an agent. I think it's a tough job, you know. It's very competitive mm -hmm. and you have so many different models. So I think they're under very, a lot of pressure, I guess. If fashion heaven exists, what would you like Coco Chanel to tell you when you arrive at the pearly gates? 
I guess you would say I never thought there'd be men in uh, Chanel, but if, uh, if there had to be one, then I'm glad you were one of them, you know, and you did a good job. Well, Brad, thank you very much for coming into the Model Studio. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's great being here.